Hey folks, JD here, and today I want to talk about my sound castles. Yes, you've heard that right. I've been working on something for the past few weeks, and I've got the prototype here, and I've got the finished result. I'm going to put that to one side for the second, because I want to talk about essentially the prototype first. Now, what is a sound castle? Well, I don't know if you remember back when the iPhone first came out all those years ago, 2007. Um, the people would buy, people would make these little resin blocks with a conical shape that eventually funneled out into a uh, into almost like a trombone style shape on the end, and you would put your iPhone into the into the the, the powerless dock, and then you would have your audio amplified from your phone directly out. Now, obviously, when you first when you first had the iPhones, they only had one speaker, which was underneath. Now they've got two because. Any iPhone, I believe, from the iPhone 8 or maybe the iPhone the iPhone 10 onwards has got uh, a speaker built into the receiver. It could even be earlier than that, but I think that's my, my recollection. So you've got a speaker here and now you've got a speaker there. So what I wanted was something that I could put my phone into. I could dock my phone, obviously powerless, and I could just amplify the sound. So I decided to, to make this very, very quickly and to see what it would do. So how would I print this? Well, I made it quite quick. Obviously, the, the dimensions are wrong because unless I take it out of the case, it doesn't fit. Um, but it actually works and it worked quite well. Now, I'm going to do a little audio test in a while. But first of all, I want to give you the specifics of me printing this. Now, this one is printed with 40% infill. And obviously, what my concern was, was that when I was listening to audio, whether it be spoken word or whether it be music, I didn't want the audio to just leave the PLA because unlike resin where it, you, you, you basically nothing can penetrate the thickness of that resin block with PLA, it can and it will. And the result with this, I was quite happy. I could see where I needed to get to, albeit the shape of the frontier was totally wrong, uh, but I could see where I wanted to get to. Now, I made it up into a little castle because why not? Um, and I thought it'd be quite nice because the middle block here, if the phone was in here, would just nestle back slightly and this block would just hold the phone and then the phone then would be nestled inside here and obviously then the audio would come out to here, which it does. Um, the Another thing I noticed as well is that the bottom here, I don't think you're going to be able to see it very well, but where my finger is on the, on the underside, that's flat. There's no... Uh, there's no sort of uh, curved shape to the underside of that. It is totally flat. Uh, and that also hindered the audio transmission as well, because obviously then rather than the audio then being forced out of the front was actually going down. But there was a noticeable change of um, audio sound uh, and, and volume rather from this particular prototype. So I was really happy with the way it printed. Printed it on my Creality Ender, Ender 3 Pro. Uh, this is my non modified Creality Ender 3 Pro. Really happy. Took about 58 hours to print that because I did it in super fine detail, as I say, with 40% uh, infill. Now, there's the finished result. A lot smaller, as you can see. I've refined a lot more of it, so it's, it's a, si a significant reduction in size. Because I was reducing it, I upped the infill. So the infill, just in case you don't know what that is, it's the little bits inside here, the honeycomb or the diamond shapes that give it the strength that build up the layers. This is 80% infill because obviously I was saving PLA on the initial size because it's so much more reduced. I decided to up the infill to 80%. So now it is a solid block. I've got a different shape here. I can't remember what that shape is called, but it's similar to a trombone, a trumpet, a tuba, simply because you want something at the base end here to be quite thin, and then at the, at the, at the front end here, you want it to expand and to expand as it comes out, thus making sure the audio travels with it and then getting louder and louder. A couple of other changes. I made obviously this you can see there i made the docks the, the 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 powerless dock larger so that it could sit my phone could sit in with it with a case on rather than not um and it sits quite nicely it uses this little this little turret in the middle here just as a little bit of um of support and what i've also done is I don't know how well you can see this. Let me see if I can get this. If I can get this, there we go. So the hole inside there, that is placed 
quite close to the speaker here so that hopefully then the audio is then going to travel out and as I say I've curved the back of it here so that the audio then rather than it going down and me losing sound sound is going to ricochet off that curve and bounce back and also the audio is going to travel out through here so what's the result well the result is this what I've got here is I've got my podcast so rather than me just pick some music I've got some music in this let's have a quick listen Without and all, all I'm going to do, I'm not going to change the audio throughout any of this video. The audio you hear is the audio from this. So here we go. Hey there, listeners, it's JD here, and welcome to the 15th episode of A Friendly Conversation. So as you can see, it does make a hell of a difference. It really does increase that decibel limit. I wish I had an external decibel meter so that I could actually test it. The only decibel meter I've currently got is the one sitting on this phone that I'm using. So it's not going to register it correctly. But as you can hear, there was a definite level of sound, a diff diff different, uh, different increase in sound. So... With this, I'm extremely happy. Now it does, I have shaved off some time. It takes 53 hours rather than 58 to 60 to print this large one. But it is so incredibly solid. And with the battlements as well and turret, it actually looks, I think it looks quite sweet. And it does look a little bit more like a castle. And overall, I'm really happy with how it printed again. Printed on my Ender 3 Pro, my non-modified. And again, really happy with it. It does make a difference. Some of the sound obviously is coming in through from, from the top. So you're going to have that little bit of, um, a little bit of um, stereo. It is going to bounce from the bottom because I've molded the bottom into a curve. So some of the audio is going to bounce back up. But it also, if you put that to your ear, you can hear it as well. And it does make quite a bit different. All right then, so off we go today with Jeremy. Maybe Spons. not so much so with go back spoken word. Maybe nine years. Oh, it does. Approximately, maybe ten, when I joined a company. There we go. And, um, yeah, I think all in all, that's really quite sweet. Sits on the desktop, and, uh, and yeah, you just plug, you plug your phone into it, dock, uh, powerless, obviously, and it just amplifies the sound just a little bit uh, so that you can hear it a bit more. Let's actually try a bit more music, actually. Let's... Um, do, 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 do. Have I got any of my covers from my band? I do. Uh, where am I going for that? Here. Bear with me a second while I find my covers. Because then at least it's me playing, even though I'm playing a known songs. There we go. So let's do that. There you go. The difference is quite stark. You can feel the vibrations right here as well. So, yeah, all in all, I'm really quite happy with that. It is going to be up on our Etsy shop and up on my website, jd3dworld.co.uk. The STL is going to be up there to purchase and also this fully printed um, object is going to be up there as well. Now, I am printing low qualities, uh, uh, sorry, low quantities, not qualities, quantities. Um, so, so I'm only doing one or two uh, on each listing and then the listing will come down. I'll print a few more and then I'll put the listing back. But you can find a link to, the, to our Etsy shop in the description as well so there we are folks i just wanted to talk to you about my little invention my sound castle thanks ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy printing